Yesterday during class, we talked about how to carve our blocks, and we started by carving away those spots that we want just to be white. So now we take our yellow ink, we ink up our block, we get our piece of paper, and we go ahead and put our block onto our paper. Remember that you're going to want to figure out where your top is and mark it on your paper so that you don't mess up. Kind of push it into place there so it'll hold. I like to flip it over and use my Baron and really kind of give it a good rubbing so that my print is going to be nice and consistent. And there's my yellow print. So you need to do this four times. Then you're going to wash up your block, dry up your block, and then you go back in and you carve away those areas that you want to be yellow. Remember that when you're carving away these spaces, that means the red ink, when we put it on the block, will not go on these spaces. So those are going to stay yellow on all of your prints. So just very carefully taking your time, thinking about your design, go in there and carve away all of the parts that are going to be yellow. As you get done with some of your smaller little details, you can always go and switch your tips so that you can get to one of those bigger tips if you have other areas or other designs that need a different carving tool. So like on mine, I'm going to carve these little ovals at the top, and I want to make sure that they use the bigger scoop tip, number 25, to get that done. Now, once I have everything carved that I want to be yellow, my block looks a little bit different, but then I go ahead and I get my brayer, and I get my red ink, and I can go ahead and I can ink up my block again. Make sure you get that nice, consistent ink on there. Go ahead and get your yellow prints out. Remember to pay attention to where is the top of your paper and the top of your block. Line it up by looking at the bottom edge. Yep, my top and my top line up. Kind of press it down a little bit. Again, I like to flip my paper over and gently rub my baron on the top of that so I get that nice, even print. And when I pull it off, I'm now going to be able to see my white, my yellow, and my red. And I'm going to repeat that four times. Now, you have to be careful. This time, I am going to do two things wrong. I'm going to put way too much ink on, and I'm not paying attention to where my top is. So as I put my block down, I didn't pay attention to where the top of my block was. Still going to make a nice print, but you'll see where the white spaces don't show up because I didn't pay attention to the top. Also, I put way too much ink on, and you can see where those little yellow marks are covered in with red ink. When that's all done and I have my four prints made with the red, then I wash my block up again, get my carving tool back out, and now I'm going to carve away those spots that I want to stay red. So again, just taking my time, carving away the areas that are going to be red, because the next thing I'm going to do is put blue ink onto my block and when I put the blue ink down it's gonna leave the yellow spaces and the white spaces and the red spaces alone because I've already carved those away. When I have it all carved then I go ahead and get my blue ink, ink up my block, When it's got that nice consistent layer of ink on it again, then I get my papers that have my yellow and my red printed on them. Pay attention to that top. Where's the top of the paper? Where's the top of the block? Line it up. I like to mark it down, flip it over, use my Baron again. 
And when I pull it off, I'm gonna have my nice print all finished. Now here's one where I messed up and you can see the white and the yellow spaces don't line up. Again, ink it. Remember you have to have your four nice copies when it's all said and done. Where's my top and my top? Line them up. And when I pull it off again, I will have my awesome finished print. So remember, we start with just the yellow, where we've carved away those white spaces. Then we carve away the yellow spaces and so now I can see white and yellow and red. And my last step is to print those blue and I can see the white, I can see the yellow, the red, and the blue.